Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to share five layer menu shortcuts, tips, and tricks to help you master your workflow in Photoshop. So I've got an example project open here with a few handful of different layers, and you might recognize this from a previous tutorial I did, but we're going to be using this to demonstrate some of these shortcuts and tips. So the first tip I have is figuring out which layer is where and selecting different layers easily. So you can always see on the thumbnail kind of what it looks like, but sometimes when you're working with a lot of layers, it can be hard to know which one's which without hiding and showing a whole bunch of stuff till you figure it out. So the way to do this easier is grab your move tool and hold command on your keyboard. And if you click around different parts of your document, Photoshop will automatically select which layer that is that you're clicking on. Now it's not exact, you can't really select adjustment layers, but I can select all the main portions and cycle through them and it'll automatically highlight it in the layers menu. Now the next tip also involves holding the command key down and this tip is if you want to select all the contents of one layer easily without using any magic wands or anything like that. So hold down command when you're on the layer and click on the layer thumbnail and it'll automatically load a selection of the entire contents of that layer and then you can use this selection to create strokes or uh, layer masks on other layers and all types of stuff so I'll press command D to deselect that but that's how you grab a selection of the entire contents of any layer which definitely comes in handy so the next tip I have is if you're working with a lot of layers and you're trying to find a specific layer but you can't tell and if you're like me you just are kind of unorganized and everything's called layer one two three etc and that is using the actual search bar in the layers menu and this is a pretty powerful tool you could search by a whole bunch of different things so you could search by layer name and if you're using text layers the, usually the words in the text layer is the layers name you could type in whatever you want and only the layer that's called that will come up you can also search by kind which lets you pick one of these different buttons so is it a pixel layer is it an adjustment layer is it a text layer you can also search by effects like bevel modes like normal multiply straighten etc so if you know there's a certain layer that you're trying to find and maybe duplicate or delete or something and you know that it has a certain attribute to it or a name you could easily find it without having to dig through all of your layers if you're working on a big project if you click this button right here you can turn off the results so you can see everything like normal once again now also related to the layers menu if you right click you can actually flag a layer with a certain color and organize it that way so if you're trying to be super organized you can make all of a certain type of layer red if it relates to one part of the document and then when you're searching you can even select color and only show the red labeled layers now the next tip I have is regarding visibility so oftentimes you want to look at one layer without seeing everything affecting it on top and the way to just isolate the visibility of one layer is to hold command and alt or option and click on the visibility icon for that layer so then you just see that layer by itself and exactly what it looks like and then if you just hold down the command and option key keep them held down and click back on the visibility icon everything goes back to its previous state of visibility now you do want to be careful because if you click this and then you go messing around one at a time with other layers and then you try to do the command alt click you're not gonna recover what was visible so if you're like me and you always leave a bunch of invisible layers hidden make sure you don't mess up all the visibility so you have to check them all again so just do it see what it looks like and click out of it now the last set of tips I have for you guys involves navigating through your layers with the keyboard shortcuts rather than with the clicking and dragging so let's say I'm highlighted on this flower layer here and I want to move the position of this layer up or down if I hold command on the keyboard and use the right bracket key I'll move it up one position so now you can see it's a layer above and if I move the left bracket key or the open bracket key you can see it goes down so you can easily shift the placement of one layer up and down just be careful to not disrupt your clipping masks or adjustment layers and groups 
Alternatively, if you don't want to move it but you just want to highlight the layer underneath, you can hold the Alt or Option key and then you can highlight through all the different visible layers up and down. So those are just a few of my favorite layer menu shortcuts, tips and tricks and hopefully you can use a few of those to really improve your workflow and work more efficiently in Photoshop. If you like this video definitely leave a like below and leave a comment and tell me which tip was your favorite or if you have any tips that you love that I didn't include in this tutorial. You can check out the Photoshop playlist on my channel for more Photoshop tutorials and definitely subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.